Hey guys, it's Ed. Welcome back to the kitchen. It's time for a new episode of The Cooking Chronicles, but today we're going a little bit rogue. So yes, today's chocolate chip cookie recipe might be the most unusual in the series in that it's not really the same type of cookie. It's not a drop cookie like most chocolate chip cookies, it's a slice and bake cookie. Yes, we are gonna make Alison Roman's salted butter chocolate chunk shortbread from her brilliant book, Dining In. So I should actually say the whole inspiration for this series was because of watching the way Alison's recipe went completely viral early on in the year. You could not check Instagram without seeing every single baker and his mum posting pictures of this recipe. Of course I made it, and I'm gonna let you know what I thought of it at the end of the recipe, but for now, let's make a batch. Now the ingredients in this cookie are pretty similar to what we've seen in previous episodes, but because it is a shortbread style, there's no eggs, and there is no leavening, and plus the ratio of flour to butter is different to give us a crunchy texture. But actually, this uses just a few ingredients and is a really great store cupboard recipe. Now, the other added ingredient to this recipe is demerara sugar, and it's added to the outside of the slice and bake cookie, and it really gives the finished baked cookie a really delicious crunch. The other thing that I love about this recipe is its double dose of salt. It uses both salted butter and is finished with a little sprinkling of sea salt. Now the salted butter is a little unusual, but it really works in this cookie and it really helps the dough have a ton of flavor. Okay, to start our cookie, we're gonna start it off just like many cookies, we're gonna add our unsalted butter. This is a little bit cold still. We're gonna add that to the mixer along with our sugars. Now, one of the nice things about this recipe is it's not as sweet as a lot of chocolate chip cookies. It only uses a small amount of sugar. It still has the regular caster sugar, and like most chocolate chip cookies, it has some light brown sugar to kind of replicate that classic flavor, but only a small amount. Beat that together for about two to three minutes until light and fluffy. Then we're gonna add a teaspoonful of vanilla, just mix that to combine. So we're gonna take our flour mixture, just add that. I like to dump it all in one go, and then just pulse that together just until that forms a dough. You don't wanna over mix this too much because shortbread will really become tough if we mix it too much at this stage. So once the dough has just come together, but before it's formed a full on dough, we're going to work on our chocolate. So for the chocolate, we're gonna use our guitar chocolate chips again. A nice, 63% cocoa chocolate chip. Now, in the recipe, Alison uses kind of chopped chocolate, which is delicious, but I'm gonna use these and just give them one quick run over so they're in slightly unusual, irregular pieces. Now we're just gonna add that to the dough and just mix that through for a second or two just to make it combine. So once the dough is finished, we're just gonna turn that out onto the work surface and then we're gonna divide that in two and roll them into logs. So just form into a ball and cut it roughly in half. And then we're gonna work with some cling film. And then I like to start it off in my hands and then roll it into the cling film. And we're just gonna roll it out until it's about two and a half inches in diameter, like that. That's then gonna go in the fridge for about two to four hours until it's really nice and firm. So now that our cookie dough is nice and firm, we're gonna take the log and we're gonna roll it in demerara sugar. And that's gonna give one of the things that I love about this recipe. It's gonna give a beautiful crunch and that nice kind of demerara shimmer around the outside of the cookies. Now we need to do that before we've sliced the cookies. So what we're gonna do is brush the outside of the dough with a little bit of beaten egg and then roll it in our demerara sugar. Then we're gonna slice it. Now once they are coated in the sugar, it is time to cut them. Now I find it's really important with this cookie to use a very sharp, thin knife because otherwise there's a chance your cookies will break as you slice them. So you want to cut them about a centimeter or so thick and then it should still be nice and cold, but if like today it's an absolutely boiling hot day, you can put those 
back in the fridge just to firm up a little bit more. So the last thing you want to do is sprinkle the cookies with a small amount of flaked sea salt. We're going to bake those cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius, and they're going to go in there for about 13 to 15 minutes until the edges are just starting to brown really nicely. So once the cookies come out of the oven, we need to leave those to cool on the baking tray for about five or so minutes, then we're going to transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. The question I posed at the start of this video was, do I like these shortbread style chocolate cookies? And the answer is, of course, yes. They are delicious and easy to make. They're really nice and crisp, and they have a really beautiful balance of sweet and salty. And the chocolate chips work brilliantly in this recipe as well. Now, the one thing that I think makes these special is the balance of sweet and salty, and the use of the salted butter and the flaky sea salt on top, I think is delicious. So that is the tip I'm gonna take forward to my ultimate recipe, because as much as I love these, this is not what I want from a chocolate chip cookie. I want that gooey, I want that chewy, and I want those crisp edges. This to me is a shortbread, it's not quite a cookie. So as much as I love it, it's not quite my ultimate. So again, we have to do a little bit more investigation, but we're getting close and I'm picking up a lot of tips that we're gonna use in the final recipe. As always, the recipe for this cookie is up in the corner. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because this is just part way through the Cookie Chronicles and we have a lot more recipes to come, including my ultimate chocolate chip recipe. So until the next episode, I will see you later.